uh, so this is the thing that uh, you really have to, uh, to do it in practice to see what is going to happen. You know, there is not clearly one planner that is going to solve all the, all the scenarios and all the, the combinations. But anyway, between those two, we know that, we know that uh, if we want to put a lot of simultaneous uh, goals, we better use the uh, metric effort. Otherwise, FG plan uh, has given us very good results. So that was the, the result of the, of the evaluation. So to, uh, to conclude the, the talk, um, I presented you the, our attack model, which was designed uh, to be really realistic from the attacker's point of view. And uh, this is the, the main difference with uh, all the work that there are in the, in the literature and on attack graph, where the, the point of view is the point of view of, a, of a, an administrator or someone who defends the, the network and uh, already has all the information about the network and uh, only wants to see if the, there is a sequence of, uh, of exploits. Here we take into account uh, the fact that the attacker is gaining information and, uh, and performing also information gathering in the middle. And, uh, and so this model, uh, I told you, has already quite uh, some years. And uh, now we really have proven that uh, it scales to real time scenarios. And uh, we can use it uh, with network with uh, hundreds of machines and having uh, several thousand, thousand actions in, the, in our, in our uh, toolbox. And another important conclusion is abandon the idea of uh, building the complete data graph and uh, use intelligent techniques to, uh, to explore the, the attack state, uh, the state, uh, the state space. And, uh, and the ones that uh, we have presented were well, so entry guesses and entry plans. And we have uh, successfully integrated that with, uh, with impact. So, uh, so that was also an, an experiment that uh, we didn't know what was going to be the, the result without doing it. And uh, in this presentation, I really went into uh, the details of, uh, of uh, this CDDR representation because I think it's... Uh, much, obviously, it's not more, much more general than uh, what I have presented. And uh, maybe, I don't know, some of you uh, get inspired and use it for some other project. So that would be uh, really good. And, uh, and finally, we still have an uh, open question to, uh, to continue working on this. And uh, the main, uh, like, the one that uh, I'm going to start working on when I come back to Buenos Aires is uh, the probabilistic planner algorithm, which, uh, which uh, we have a uh, design and, and test uh, only at the research school. So uh, we uh, really want to see what happens when we integrate it with, uh, with, uh, with a time test framework and compare the results with, uh, with other planners. So uh, I believe uh, using the, the program, the information of the probability of success is going to uh, give us a better plan. But uh, now we have like already set up the, the environment and the test bench to do those, uh, those comparisons. So this is uh, what I'm going to continue with. And uh, there is another uh, big open question. <coughs> it's, uh, it's the fact that uh, the planner generally are uh, designed to uh, for a sequential execution of the action. So the planner gives you a sequence of actions and it tells you if you start executing them in order, you will get to, uh, to your goal. But uh, with these frameworks, we have the ability to, uh, to execute actions in parallel. Now we can launch lots of exploits in, in parallel. For example, for client side, we can launch thousands of, uh, of mails in, in parallel. So this is something that uh, needs to be incorporated into the, into the, the planning design. So this one big open question, and the second one is how to manage uncertainty. No, one way to manage uh, uncertainty is with uh, using probabilistic information. And uh, yeah, and another one that that we have is uh, to build some kind of, of meta planner that uh, will first generate uh, hypotheses about all the things in the in the network that it doesn't know, and then use planner to execute attacks and uh, validate those hypotheses or refuse them. So, uh, 
So this would be like a, an hypothesis generator, and then we use the, the planos as well when we have to, uh, to, uh, to validate that. And uh, because for now, with the uncertainty, we uh, we do be using uh, the information gathering models that, that we already have. So we have like still this uh, this uh, basis of information gathering, then attacking, and it would be good to mix all in one thing and plan information gathering and attacking uh, at the same time. So uh, I put here. Uh, references. So, if you want to read more about this, uh, I can give you the, the slides, and we have a lot of, of references. And uh, so, that's basically. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> thank you to the thank you to the organizers. About your launches, so you mentioned you had an uh, existential quantifier. Uh, do you have a uh, universal quantifier as well? Uh, yes, there is a universal quantifier. Yes. Uh, so is it first of the launches? Yes. Uh, and the entire system is, is, uh, is a simple quantifier, so is it like higher order? Uh, I think it's, it's simply that, like each object has one type. And uh, so when we predicate, uh, you know that you only have to instantiate them with, with the correct type. Yet you don't have a hierarchy of, uh, of all the things like that. So I assume you, you, have, uh, uh, you don't have like just the data types, but also like 